it's full of blood and you know even when he was a guest on the Muppet show um you know <laughs> Why, hello there, YouTube, and welcome back to 31. So we're on day four now, and the fourth day of Vincent Price week on 31. And for that one, I'm reviewing Bloodbath at the House of Death. <laughs> So this is a comedy horror styled spoof film um, starring Vincent Price in a supporting role but the main star of this movie of course is British comedian and DJ Kenny Everett. So in this film it focuses you know, on a mansion, a house, a property that has had strange deaths and everything going on and uh, seven scientists or group scientists are sent to investigate it you know, these strange phenomena and then there's a cult led by Vincent Price's character in this as well and we get some wacky ghoulish comedic goings on here now I believe when this film was being marketed outside of the, the United Kingdom it had Vincent Price labelled as the star of the film because uh, probably to American audiences Kenny Everett wasn't well known in fact I think he's only ever been big here in the UK. Uh, Kenny Everett was a British DJ presenter and then in the late 70s early 80s moved into television where he would do sketch shows and comedies and you know was quite big throughout the 80s before he passed away uh, in you know of, of the AIDS. Um, so I can understand that. But Vincent Price is in this, so I'm including this one because, like I said, Vincent Price is in it. So, what did I like about this? Well, I like Kenny Everett's witty, uh, you know, antics. I mean, I've always liked the guy. He does funny, hilarious sketches which are my humour. And, of course, we've got Vincent Price in there. Now, when I saw this, it was on Netflix. And, you know, when I saw Vincent Price on the, like, the cover or whatever I thought oh yeah I'll give that a watch oh it's fine that Vincent Price like I say isn't a leading role in this he's a supporting role but he still does a good job with his performance playing the cult leader and you know he can do comedy and horror pretty well when he puts his mind to it like theater of blood and you know even when he was a guest on the Muppet show um, you know he has a humorous side to him which I feel like we saw in this um, of course this was all 80s as well so it had some 80s cinematography even though it feels a bit older than that I gotta be honest it feels like it's 10 years earlier but it's not it came out in 1984 um, of course there were moments in there because I do have some negatives such as some moments in there were a bit too silly for me I thought okay it's funny there but then you know, some points it just got too slapstick for me. I mean, I do like slapstick and surrealism, but not when it's constantly just used for the sake of it. I mean, like I say, it's not a bad film by any means. It's quite an enjoyable one, and you know, I watched it, and I thought it was funny. I mean, there were moments in there that were boring, and some moments where it looked like it was going to be something sinister and scary, but 
at the end of the day, it wasn't. Well, it was and it wasn't. It, it's it's a witty comedic horror, which I do recommend to Vincent Price fans and Kenny Everett fans. Um, you know, but like I say, don't go thinking Vincent Price is a main lead in this because he isn't. So my ratings for today. What am I going to rate this one? Look back at the house of death. I think I'll give this one. I think I'll give it three stabs out of five. Three stabs out of five for Bloodbath at the House of Death. So, there you go. There's my review for today. And there goes another day of Vincent Price week on 31. So, let me know down in the comments. Have you seen this one? If you have, let me know what you think. If you like this video, be sure to give it a big thumbs up. Share with your friends. Feel free to subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And hit that notification bell. This has been, I've been Random Nelson, this has been 31, day 4, Vincent Price week as well, day 4, so I will see you all tomorrow, and until next time, do not have nightmares.